I'm with Blake Young. He's the president and CEO of Converge. Blake, thanks for joining us. Nice to be here. I want to start with, um, the, what are you hearing from your utility customers? What are the issues and pain points they're telling you about? You know, I think it varies. Uh, as you know, Converge's customer base is coast to coast, west coast all the way to east coast and southern utilities as well. And I think uh, because of the complexity of these utilities, the problems vary it, from interoperability of solutions you know, obviously the migratory path from AMR networks to AMI networks, yeah. uh, integrating the home area network world with the back office, uh, two-way communications, how do we enable customers and so on. So it's a wide swath, basically, of, of uh, things that utilities are worrying about. Taking that big picture view, what's the biggest obstacle you think is, uh, faces the industry? I think if I had to peg it, it would be interoperability of solutions, and oh. I think uh, that's exactly what we've seen this year at Distributech, where customers are asking very detailed and deep questions about interoperability of very solutions, whether those are home area network solutions, their utility back office, and then of course with the metering network itself. The home area network has gotten a lot of attention. There are millions now of home area network capable meters out there. When you look at the statistics, very few of them have actually been activated and in use. What's holding the home area network back? I think uh, a couple of things. One is, uh, you know, customer pull is right. one obvious, and I think the lack of customer pull is related to well, what's in it for the consumer? Mm -hmm. I mean, the uh, prevalence of um, uh, variable rate structures, dynamic pricing, critical peak pricing, time of use being able to be delivered in a real way to customers is obviously not prevalent. Although there are exceptions, if you look at uh, large utilities in the Texas market, where you have very heavy competition. Um, Florida, Florida, Gulf Power, have been working for years with dynamic pricing, but we're still early in the curve. Mm -hmm. And I think as we see that move forward, uh, hopefully with some regulatory pressure and influence, uh, you'll see that shift. Five to ten years from now, who's going to be supplying home uh, consumers with home energy devices? Will it be the utility? Home energy management devices. Will it be utilities? Will it be Home Depot, Best Buy, Walmart, Verizon, Comcast? Um, I think the utility uh, will continue to play a very strong influential role in capabilities delivered to the end consumer. And I think that will come as a result of differentiated rates and pricing and structures that will enable consumers to be smarter procurers of energy. I think at that point utilities will figure out that, hey, I need to make sure I understand what my customer is all about and how to keep that customer and keep them happy. And that goes back to what's the killer app of the smart grid? I think it's all about personalization. You know, there is no one killer app, and the capabilities that will be delivered to consumers will be through these devices. Well, let's talk about demand response, the heart and soul of, of your business. Um, many people think it has great potential, but there's also some concerns that maybe con uh, consumers in particular may not adopt it at the rate or the pace that some people hope may not stay with it uh, and may not stay engaged. What's your long-term view? We see no evidence of that, and I'll give you my reasoning. Last year, we enrolled over 200 and 210,000 residential customers into mass market programs, uh -huh. and they enrolled for two reasons. One was a socially aware, environmentally conscious consumer who could care less about how much a rebate is or the rate or whatnot. They just want to do the right thing. Right. And the other is attracted to either a smart device, an intelligent thermostat, and a, an incentive to become part of the program. So uh, in order to attract that volume and enroll that volume of customer, you have to be able to market to them. We did 11 million direct mail drops last year to enroll that kind of customer base. So we see momentum building in terms of the attractiveness of DR and the churn rate is very, very low in okay. these programs. Okay. So the companies typically have a theme or a focus in a given year or period. What's your, your 2011 focus? Well, it's, it's clearly around the framework that we have announced and put so much energy behind, and that's the Intelligent Energy Management Framework. And it basically um, is about the much deeper and more sophisticated integration of hardware, software, and services mm -hmm. um, with a foothold, as we have, in um, very sophisticated and successful um, mass market DR programs. And so what you will see at Converge is a focus on making sure that the interoperability across hardware, software, and services platforms uh, works as customers are asking for. All right. 
So, uh, and given that overview of where you're going, what's your biggest challenge then in this year? Well, I think uh, the, the, the biggest challenge is um, demonstrating to customers that um, the, the types of services, the types of uh, hardware, and obviously the enterprise software that we offer can be adapted to the various physical environments that exist across the base because they're so diverse which is why we've spent so much time on what I just mentioned, inter interoperability of the solutions. Uh, so uh, the, the, the hardware agnostic and protocol agnostic nature of what we're doing is, is really real. And we're working, we're focused on that for that purpose, to demonstrate to customers that we can mix and match um, uh, solutions in a way that fit their specific needs. So it's moving away from an engineering focus, you know, and leading with a thermostat foot or a DCU foot or this in-home display foot and leading more with a solutions orientation to the utility. If 2010 was the year of the smart meter, what will 2011 be? That's the theme for 2011. I think it's what I really re referenced earlier and it's the year of interoperability. I think utilities are grappling with this transition. Uh, you know, I think there was a bit of a misconception that, wow, all the stimulus dollars, everyone's going to be in the smart grid, and here's the date it's going to happen. Well, that's not the case. And we think that's great for business because we have customers grappling with relatively new AMR networks that are in place with no plans to change them out anytime soon right. and beginning a transition and migration to AMI sophistication, all the while looking at what's going to happen with home air networks, uh, enabling the consumer, and so on. So sitting back and saying, how do I make all this work together? Right. So interoperability, I think, is going to be part of the name of the game in 2011. Thank you, great job. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you.